Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Lemon Citrus Tarot and today I'm going to be doing a collective reading what we may need to know for August. So this is a little Palo Santo. I just want to clear any negative energies out um, and get started with our reading. So welcome. Put that right there. So spirit, what do we need to know right now for highest and greatest good for the month of August? Mm. All right, so our first card is Divine Masculine. So... This is more energies than it is gender. So I want to interpret this as what choices, what daily routines are you making that support your divine masculine self? So let me just put that there and let's see what else spirit has to offer for us today. What we need to know for the month of August. Mm. Solitude. So this is very interesting because we do have the Divine Masculine, which could indeed mean a male or someone who has a masculine energy um, within your life is going to be at the forefront of August. But with the second card, a solitude, and by the way, both of their backs are facing us. So what have we turned away from? Have we turned our backs on a divine masculine? Have we turned our back on solitude and ourselves? So what else, Spirit? What other messages do you have for us for the month of August? For the month of August, what messages do you have for us? Okay, observer, interesting. I'm actually just going to put the camera a little bit closer. So this is a very interesting spread that we have here. And I'm just gonna pick three cards because I think that this says a lot right now already. So, and then on the bottom of the deck, we have reinvention. Okay. And I also like to tell readers as well as like who I read for. It's not the amount of cards. It is your intuition behind those cards. So, I think sometimes there is a need to clarify, there is a need to pull more cards, but sometimes the best answers are the ones that are simple and concise. So there are multiple things and messages right now, but I think the biggest thing to look at is how we have two of the cards, their backs are facing us, and then we have this set observer facing us. So it almost seems like an observer can see us. We don't know who they are, by the way, but they can see us in a way that maybe we can't even see ourselves. 
maybe they this observer sees this reinvention that is taking place for us all um and maybe you've turned your back on a divine masculine connection maybe you are in need of solitude maybe that that's what you've been wishing for for a very long time it's just i want some peace i want to be alone i want to really get a better look at things and that's what solitude does right it gives it gives us a perspective of when we are with people so my biggest thing for the divine masculine i think maybe there's divine masculine that you almost a connection with that you're thinking i think i need some space or there is someone coming into your life and yet you're still seeking solitude okay and yet there's an observer watching this all happening okay so let's look a little bit deeper and i'm going to use the tarot for this what messages do we need to know for the month of August? Ten of Wands. A lot of responsibilities. A lot of responsibilities that maybe that's why we're seeking the solitude. And a lot of times Divine Masculine is your boundaries. What choices are you making? What choices are you making that make you feel empowered? And a lot of times, that is creating boundaries, okay? Just get this going. I've been feeling the urge to do this more and more often. Okay. So what, what, are you re what responsibilities are you ready to not have anymore, okay? And then we have the chariot. So, and then we have, okay, maybe this observer is a, a twin flame. Or maybe you're observing celebration and joy from the outside and you feel like you don't feel that. I'll just put this right here. Back of the deck, the hanged man changing our perspective so i do think that you have to almost really charge forth on this solitude because it's going to give you a, a better perspective and look the next card is ten of pentacles so i really do think that the solitude and really going for it is going to sh change your perspective and then you're really going to have this abundance and this flow in your life okay because right now you have to speak some boundaries when it in regards to a divine masculine connection or maybe it's just you standing in your divine masculine and saying hey this isn't for me anymore okay and i do see this observer could be um someone you don't know that's observing you through this and knows that you have the power. So, yeah, that's so interesting. It's a very interesting, um, very interesting look. And maybe in August you have a lot of weddings, a lot of celebrations to go to. I could see that as well. So, um, yeah, I think that's it. Um, I hope that gave you a little clarity. And here's the thing too, if you were pulled to this reading, there is a message here for you. And um, I hope that message found you. Um, take care, have a wonderful August, and I hope to see you soon. Bye.